Hey travelers, a lot of y'all ask me what is it like to be in a relationship in the foreign service? How do you date overseas? Well, I think this is the best time to share with you my personal story of how I met the man of my dreams. This first video is going to be part of a relationship series that I will launch here on Hamish Traveler. All right, y'all, let's get into today's story. So let me tell you how I met the man of my dreams. So back in 2018, I decided to go on a man fast. And what exactly is a man fast? A man fast, according to me, was a time to not date, a time to not think about men, a time to really focus on myself. Because you know, back then, I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. I was sick and tired of men, you know, just kind of just jerking me around and whatnot. And I wanted just a fresh slate to focus on myself to prepare for the next level. And what is that next level, you ask? Well, the following year in 2019, it was my time to graduate from grad school and to start my new job at the Foreign Service. And so I wanted to be as prepared as possible, mentally, physically, spiritually, well-rounded all together. And so he said, so basically, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take some time and I'm just gonna do me, focus on me. And my friends and my cousins, they laugh about this all the time because when I was going through this man fast, I'd be like, y'all, I am in stage one, I'm in stage two, and what are these stages? So stage one, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna focus on my spiritual life. I'm gonna focus on my relationship with the Lord. I'm gonna make sure I'm praying every day. I'm gonna be making sure I do the work needed uh, to just like work on my relationship with God. Stage two was all about my health. I was like, you know, I'm going to focus on making sure I schedule those doctor's appointments, going for like my woman's checkup, going to the, my primary care, going to the dentist, making sure I go to the gym. I was like committed. And then I had other stages where I focused on like doing my makeup, getting highlights in my hair, going shopping, and just living. The man fast, it helped me to live my best life. And while I was doing this man fast, I just glowed. And it took the attention and it took just this focus off of like, oh, uh, will I ever meet like somebody in the future? So fast forward a couple months to May 2019, six months later, I am going downtown uh, because I needed to meet up with my cousins later because we were going to a magic show. And so my dad, he's like entering an art show and he drops me off downtown because he wanted to submit his art. So I'm downtown a bit earlier. And I didn't go back home because, you know, I didn't want to miss the magic show. It wouldn't make any sense to go back home with them. So I'm like sitting by the water, minding my own business, eating lunch, just enjoying my scenery. It was a beautiful, beautiful day. And as I'm like eating lunch and just people watching, I notice that my phone dies. And I'm like, oh no, how am I going to get to the magic show? Because I knew it was like close to where I was sitting, but I didn't have the GPS, the directions to get me there. So I'm like, okay, I need to charge my phone. That was my mission. So there was like this festival that was going on right by where I was sitting by the water. And I'm like entering the festival. It was a festival for the Preakness. So if you're unfamiliar with what the Preakness is, it's a big horse race that takes place every year in Baltimore. And they were, it was a lot of businesses down, uh, down in the festival selling things and there was like vendors everywhere. So I'm like going up to different vendors and I'm like, hey, you know, I would like to charge my phone. A few people told me no. And then I meet this man and I'm like, hey, can I charge my phone at your booth? And he's like, yes, you can charge my phone. And I'm like, oh, that's so nice. So he lets me charge uh, my phone at his computer. And while I'm charging my phone, he lets me fly some drones. So we're talking, I'm flying some drones. I think it's kind of cool. It's my first time ever flying drones. and. Uh, he gives me his business card and I'm like, okay, thank you. And he was like, you know, you make sure you contact me one day. Be sure to contact me. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I get my phone, I have it charged up. I find out where the magic show is. The magic show was only like two minutes <laughs> in the other direction. And I'm like walking, I'm like, oh, thank you, bye. And I'm like walking to the magic show. So I get to the magic show and my cousins and I, we have a great time. We like laugh, it was really good. I can't remember who was doing the magic show, but it was a great show. And so I think, I don't know what I did with that card. I think I left it in the pizza box. You see, cause when I was going to the magic show, I stopped by to get a, like a box of pizza. And you know, during the show, I was like eating the pizza and it was empty. And I believe I put the card in there. I'm not sure. However, whatever. The next day, I tried to find the card and I couldn't find the card. And I was like, well, oh well, uh, I guess 
it wasn't meant to be. Fast forward a couple days later, I am going to the grocery store because I'm, I need to get some lunch for the next day. And so I'm like going to this grocery store, I'm walking towards the front of the entrance. And mind you, this grocery store is 30 minutes on the opposite side of town. It's nowhere near downtown Baltimore where the festival was. So I'm like going, walking towards the entrance of the store. And don't you know how like sometimes when you have a cart, you just like push out the way? Well, that's exactly what happened. I was walking towards the front of the store and I saw this older gentleman, he like pushed his grocery cart out the way he's done with it and I'm like oh my gosh the cart is gonna smack right into the car that's parked in front of the store so I'm like running I'm running I'm running and I'm like I push the grocery cart out the way and as I push the grocery cart out the way I see this or I hear somebody say hey aren't you Chelsea and I'm like oh hey and it was the guy that I met at the festival and so he, so he's like, oh, hey, how come you never contacted me? And I was like, oh, I forgot, I lost your card. I'm so sorry, it was not intentional. So he gives me his car again and he's like, hey, be sure to contact me next time. And also he's like, hey, I also was watching and I saw that you pushed the grocery cart from crashing into my mom's car. And I was like, wow, I had no idea. So he gives me his card again and I, a couple of days later, cause I was, you know, living my best life, I contacted him and I was like, hey, uh, it was really nice meeting you. We scheduled our first like meetup and then a couple weeks later, we scheduled our first date. I was traveling at that time. That's why it was a couple weeks later. Our first date was really, really nice. It was supposed to rain that day, but it did not rain that day. We had our date at the park. It was nice. He had a charcuterie board. He had it all hooked up. It was supposed to only be like an hour, but it lasted the whole day. We got ice cream and we went out to lunch. It was really nice. And like you said, or like the same goes, the rest is history. So we went on a couple dates and then after two years he proposed and he proposed with this beautiful ring. I'm not sure if it's in focus, but yeah, it's been a blessing and I'm sure he would say the same thing too. But you know, I, I give God all the glory because I believe he orchestrated this whole thing, including having me go on the man fast because the story is too wild. The man fast ended about the same time that we met. Actually, it ended like the day that we met. And I never thought that I would be here saying I'm engaged to the man of my dreams. I'm in the foreign service traveling the world. And I just want to give encouragement to somebody who's watching who's like, where is my person? Where is my future fiance, my future husband? To just keep waiting and that it will all work out in God's timing. Hey travelers, well that concludes today's video. If you enjoyed this story, make sure you smash the subscribe button and the smash the like button for more content like this. I plan to do a wedding series that documents our wedding journey. And if you have a significant other, let me know in the comment section below how you met them. Or if you have any tips for the wedding, be sure to let me know. Until the next time travelers, let's travel with our dreams together.